Hello, my fellow astronauts, and welcome back. We're getting in touch with our roots right now. This is one of the first series I uh, started. Uh, we're just gonna recheck this game real quick. Check out these quests right here at with that Raventhrope. They did them interesting. I'll make a video. If they're not interesting, well, then you'll have never seen this. So. You want to die, thief? Eivor, you should hear this. Ah, this Dakrot and his friends had the foolish balls to raid Ravensthorpe. Are the others dead? A few. Most of them escaped. They did not damage much, but made off with some of our gear. Should I get Ranvi? No. She has enough on her table. I will handle this. So... You thought you would play at Vikinga, little man. Are you prepared to go all the way? You won't get anything out of me, Danish scum. I'll never talk. I'm Norse. And what makes you think I want to hear you talk? Maybe I will take my payment in flesh. Chop off his leg. It does not have to be a clean cut. No need to sharpen your blade. No, please! Don't cut off my leg! It was Sir Edward who wanted your stuff. He paid us to do it. Sir Edward? Yes, the Earl of Westerner. Or, or that's what he calls himself. Said he hates Vikings. Your lot especially. Where can I find this Sir Edward, Earl of Westerner? I don't know. I'm new. We were supposed to steal the gear, then meet at the longship west of Ravensburg. That's all I know. You can take him to Randry now. Maybe we can trade him for a pig. I'm off to check out this long ship. So I got all this gear in Ireland. If you're wondering, it's all gold and shiny. Supposed to be uh, some. Here, you know, let's, let's check it out. I have no idea how to play this game anymore. That's how long it's been. Celtic cloak, Celtic armor. Ooh, Clahan. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's, it's Gaelic. He's supposed to be like the uh, Irish version of Thor. He just gets pissed off and what the fuck is this thing? If you would have me, Eivor, my weapon is yours. No, absolutely not. You're level one to go fuck yourself. My time will soon come. All right, looks like we found it. Prisoner did not lie about this location. Fear breeds truth. This was a slaughter, not a battle. Their wounds are very precise and familiar. This outfit is still in good shape. I'll reclaim it for our clan. Killed the sentries. Not me. Is that a joke? You won't be laughing when I drag you before Earl Edward to answer for your incompetence. I would very much like to meet your Earl Edward. Uh, Captain, I think that's a real Viking. Drop your weapons, Dane, and submit to me. I'm Norse, and you will die for soiling the honor of the Raven Clan. <laughs> The shit. Shot. 
Well, that's not very fun. You're a true Raven clan. My name is Roshan, and we share a common enemy. Sir Edward. The Earl of Resterna is a puppet, manipulated by one called Alcira. A fitting title given her duplicitous nature. She belongs to an order who employ disruption and strive to further their ends. Your clan is a tool in her schemes. I've met such weavers of intrigue before, and those who oppose them. I would consider the enemy of my enemy a friend. Let me guide you to where you can take your revenge on the Earl. Lead the way. If this Alcila seeks to wield my clan's honor as a weapon, she shall find it cut both ways. Satisfy yourself with the Earl, and leave Alcila to me. Ah, uh, perhaps this task is best left to one who is younger. To one more familiar with these lands. I was killing her kind before you were off your mother's teeth. The Earl's death will draw her out. Leave the rest to me. That blade you wear upon your arm. Where did you get it? It was a gift. From my brother. Truly? Is he a... A great warrior and traveler who discovered many things. And yours? Reclaimed after a long absence. The years without it were the hardest I've known. Your endurance is impressive for one of your years. And I meant no disrespect when I offered to kill the one you... My blade has grown neither rusty nor dull. What I lack in brutish strength, I make up in quiet subtlety. I too can be silent when I choose. Ha! Huh. You may be exceptional among your kind, child. But I am a lifetime ahead of you in that. What do you know of Earl Edward? Why does he hate the Raven Clan so? He blames you for the loss of his title and property. The very land where Ravensthorpe now stands. It was there for the taking, abandoned and uncared for. His quarrel is with those who came before us. It matters not to him. He hates all the Vikings and will work with whomever will help discredit you and drive you from England. Who sounds Middle Eastern? <clears throat> Maybe Egyptian? I'm basing that off of uh, well, Anna from Overwatch. What if it's the same voice actor? That'd be crazy. We will have a better view from atop this tower. That is where Alcila and the Earl may camp. At Ravensburg, no less. They will choke on their arrogance. Alcila's gold has built up the fort's defenses. It will be no easy thing to penetrate. A challenge for some, perhaps. Less so for me. Do you know what lies within its walls? If I describe what I've learned, could you picture it with your mind's eye? I can do better. Soon in! Listen carefully. The Saxons within the outer wall are less disciplined. Relying on their Viking attire to deflect curiosity. They will not notice one more Viking among them. I could use the outfit I took off the dead Saxon at the longship. Very good. Also, some Saxons are engaged in tasks which could help you blend in. What of the Earl? Where is he? Within the heart of the encampment. He plays at holding court. But in truth, Alcila keeps him leashed like a hungry dog. The Earl's death must be loud and unmistakable. A clamor Alcila cannot ignore. So, a silent approach with a noisome finish. This is your counsel. Is your mind capable of balancing two conflicting ideas while orchestrating this necessary distraction? 
I could kill the Earl a hundred different ways while composing a great song for the occasion. Do you have a preference? In the open, beneath that tree. Approach silently, then kill him in full view of his men. That will draw the spider out. I will create a commotion the guards could not ignore. Good. Would you now don the outfit you took from the Saxon imposter to better blend with the rest? Sure, why not? All right, so I breached inside the camp. I'm just getting entering. Just blending in, trying to make sure I'm not too conspicuous. Oh shit. You didn't see a fucking thing. Where did I be like two of you that show up? We all know I suck I suck super hard at stealth games. Did you hear the Earl? We're gonna be rich as kings. <laughs> I lies as soon as I said something. You die now. Why is the Earl? Ow. Alright, I guess we're doing this loud. That's what I should have just shot that. we earn from these Viking raids, I will reclaim my lands and we shall all live like kings. We must take care not to show our hand until my plan reaches fruition. All gold and silver belong to us. Any writings you find are reserved for Alcilla. Do we want the Danes taking our women and plowing our land? Yeah, we'll show those fucking dames! There is the Earl. You're dead! 
failed to achieve the desired destruction. Perhaps some fire will draw out Zeela's attention. my path again! Stay your hand, mighty warrior! I offer you everything I gave the Earl and more! An army greater than all others! A kingdom to outside! I have that. It is done. Freya's might to be that deadly after so many winters. <sighs> that was a glorious sight, wise one. It was as though Hell, Queen of the Underworld, descended from that tree. <sighs> I think I felt her in my bones. And not in any comforting way. Are you... Uh... Ah, I am fine. Though I will pay for that glory later. So, now that your destiny is achieved, will you seek a more peaceful path? Alcira was merely an obstacle on a long road. This is the real prize of the day. I retrieved it after I put that witch to rest. What is it? The future. A seed to plant in Jerusalem. So the fates are not finished with you. Does it ever end? And you? Are you satisfied to have achieved your vengeance? My greatest satisfaction is knowing that the honor of the Raven Clan is unblemished, and that my people are safe. As it shall ever be, so long as you are their champion. Goodbye, Eivor Wolfkist of the Raven Clan. That was a weird, small little quest. I think that's just to introduce the uh, the chick for the new Middle Eastern Satin Crude game coming in. She's supposed to be the older version of that character. I if I shall ever learn more of her story. Yeah, I don't want to use any of that shit. This shit looks lame. Let's go to uh, another quest since this video probably isn't that long yet. Uh, we'll cut it right here. Next time you guys see us, we'll be in Raventhrope and doing the next quest. See you guys in a minute. Hello, my fellow astronauts. So I have good news and bad news. Now that I'm back in Raventhrope. Good news is uh, we're still going to keep playing and make this video a little longer. Bad news is I've done like four different quest lines that I've been filming. Uh, the game audio is fine. Let's see what the... The like a cutscene audio, the audio just crapped out, and you wouldn't hear any audio from that from people talking, but you heard combat, which is weird. So I gotta figure out what that issue is, but I think I might have fixed it, but I'll just catch you up on what you missed. So I went to the Isle Man. Go over here. And right here. That literally just took me to like Scotland. And there's a piece of Eden that was Causing a bunch of havoc, and you run into Cassandra, and she she caused it to activate. So you basically get in a fight with her, and then you end up working together with her to capture it, and then you give it to her. And then you hang out on the island, you have throw a party with her, and then you leave, or she leaves, and you leave. And then uh, now I'm on one where I am going all over in England doing. Three different quests: a bear, uh, which is fighting people; a wolf, running around doing archery stuff; and then a raven, which is sneaky stuff, squirrel stuff. Uh, I have to get enough of these, and it opens up this weird cryptic door right outside Raventhope, and then I'll get like some crazy secret weapon. Uh, that was dumb. Uh, and then 
what we're going to start in do now is this. And then after that, we will check out uh, going into Frankia, which is France. I'm doing some raids there. All right. But uh, I need to go up here real quick. For a bit of animus magic, I am. Searching for future memories filtered by emotion, intensity, grief, longing, sadness. Here we are. A few images from the future. Let's see where Aver leads us. Let's move this timeline. Given my offer some greater thought. No, Hytham. I have not. Then How's I wearing? will ask again tomorrow. How does a heart so large hide in such a modest man? I don't follow. To work so tirelessly for strangers, fighting not for yourself, not for your people, but for all the world. That takes compassion of a size I have never known or seen in others. Ah, I thank you. Do you not worry about your own family or your clan back home? How did you come to be so ruthless? I do have a clan, as you call it, but no family. I was orphaned quite young. It may be this lack that drove me to join the Hidden Ones. They have certainly treated me as a son. I too lost my family. I gained another, this Raven Clan. I owe them my life, and I would give them mine. I feel the same gratitude, but on a larger scale. You see, anyone can join the Hidden Ones, and therefore everyone is worthy of our love. I admire your course, Hytham. I do not have the focus needed to carry forth your creed. My mind is often divided between the present and the distant past. And it will take some time to understand why. Ah! Is it time? Uh, forgive me, Eivor. We keep our training to a strict schedule. Of course. Carry on. And good luck with this lot. They are wild draw. <laughs>
king. Ah, Eivor. You are welcome here. <clears throat> How does it feel to be home? Not as free of care as you might imagine. It has been many years since I reclaimed my throne. But I have never taken it for granted. Not since my time in the marshes. Since then, I have been busy. Guthrum and I are inching towards common ground. A treaty is forthcoming. Is that why you have summoned me? To find common ground? I hope to. You are one of the great lords of Mercia. And calling you a friend would be a benefit to all England. What say you? to a treaty, Eivor, naming you lord of all lands northeast of your settlement. In exchange for what? Your allegiance. Not to me, but to Christ, and to the order I have convened in his name. I honor your offer, lord, and the trust you place in me. So here is my answer. gave me this years ago, a beautiful piece, and it sits heavier in my pocket than on my heart. You refuse, then? Have no fear. This is not a new chapter in our conflict. I am leaving these lands for distant shores. You will have no more trouble from me. A search of new wars? Fresh lands to conquer? In search of myself. Ah, the most difficult destination on earth. I wish you well, then. God be with you on your journey. I'm a bit full up with guards at the moment. Yours may have to take another boat. Faces the rising sun. Good. So, the rumors are true. The great conqueror has been conquered himself. <laughs> Eivor, how many summers has it been? <laughs> Far too many, friend. Something amuses you. I hardly recognize you. Is this the Guthrum I left behind, or some other gentleman? <laughs> The Guthrum you knew is indeed no more. Athelstan, I am now called. My Christian name. Christian name? A new name for a new life. At the expense of all you gained. Uh, I have not lost as much as you might think. King Alfred and I have forged a lasting peace, in fact. He has taken Western Mercia. East Anglia is mine. We are now discussing the fates of East Mercia and the North. <laughs> the Danes, Eivor, are here to stay. With Christ as their Jarl. He is a powerful god. Within his sacrifice hides the greatest boons. Forgiveness, hope, love. Would you not consider hearing his message for yourself? I have no time to meet new gods. Leaving England. And I've only come here to say my goodbyes. Will you return to your father's land? Elsewhere. To unmapped places. In search of the unknown. Ah, an adventure worthy of Odin. You and he share a love for knowledge and discovery I have noticed. Share is not a strong enough word. <laughs> come then. We must drink and tell stories before you go. If they are to be our last, they must be our best. <laughs>
just a bit. Young Harold has made quite a name for himself in our time away. Twelve or thirteen years, I think. Sigurd! Eivor! You are welcome here. Come! I got word that you would visit, but I did not expect you so soon. Stout men huddled around a map with eyes as hungry as their bellies. Little has changed, eh? Yes. I spent half my life worrying over hastily drawn maps. But this is not a land we mean to conquer. It is a land in need of aid. Iceland? Yes. Our friend Ingolwyr sends word that his new settlement is in peril. Cold winters and simmering blood feud. I have agreed to send supplies and men. Enough to bring peace and ride out the winter. Eivor, it may be your coming here at this time to this place. It's a blessing from Thor himself. Which you and your brother lead this expedition for me. I cannot think of a better pairing to see this through. Eivor, this is fated. I long for such an adventure. Tell me your mind. Does your heart fire burn for another expedition? I'm grateful for the offer, but I have not come here to walk down well-worn roads. I'm here to say farewell, for once and all. For once and all? Are you leaving England as well? I am. Sailing west, accompanied only by myself, to a land found on no map. For what need? I will discover that only when I arrive. But that is tomorrow. Today I would like to spend time in the company of those I love. And tell stories from long ago. <laughs> Beginning when? Long, long ago. You understand? Uncle, clear the room and bring mead and roasted minkfowl for three. Where to begin? Here we are. A final future memory. Will you not wait for morning? I must get to London by the week's end. A crew awaits me there. Not even a goodbye? Everyone knows I'm leaving. But not when. Does Randri know tonight is the night? Yes. We said our goodbyes. I wish I understood all this, Eivor. You remember my first visions? Before we came to England. Odin, Sigurd. The wolf. The Nordnir. Yes. They prophesied so much that came to pass. They were not prophecies, Valka. They were memories. My own. Or not my own. But lent to me by another. One who lives within me. My second Hooger. Do you understand? I... I wish I did. For so long, I considered only two possible futures for me. Surrender to these malicious memories. Reject them utterly. But now I see a third way. And as I grow older, it draws my interest. I want to learn from them. But I do not know where this path will lead me. Nor what it might unleash. This is why. For now. Wish to be alone. I see. Thank you for your trust, Eivor. Embrace me, friend. Farewell, Eivor Wolfkist. 
May Odin guide your way. Not this time, Volker. This time, I will be guiding him. Basim, is it? William Miles. I asked to meet you in person. Face to face, you said. So here I am. In spirit, so to speak. So close, yet so far. A clever trick. Quite a trick of your own, you pulled off. Resurrection, hibernation. Many years in the making, I suppose. There were some improvisations along the way. You've spent so much time in the simulation these past thousand years. Why so eager to jump into another? A simple curiosity. It has been so long since I saw my friend Eivor. I wish to know how this grand saga concluded. Now you know. So, what next? Where will Basim go? As far as I can. Feared as much. Do not. I cherish the creed that guides us. I always have. But you people are infants compared to those I left behind. I need to get you up to speed. So, let's get started. Wait. If we are to work together, there is something I want first. <laughs> Name it. Viable genetic material obtained. Genetic memory extraction has begun. Estimated sequencing time, 29 days, 3 hours, 4 minutes. You are in for quite a ride, Mr. Miles. so strange and what of Ragnarok the twilight of the gods are these stories true in a sense the great cataclysm happened much as your legends say there were earthquakes and storms wars and famine <sighs> People died out, but yours thrived. But you say there were no gods as we know them. So what natural force could cause such an upheaval? How to explain? Does the term solar flare mean anything to you? I don't think so. <laughs> this may take some time to describe. Not a problem. Time is all we have left, old father. 